Well, good morning, boys. It is my honor and my great privilege to stand before you and present this, my last captain's speech. Before we begin today's celebration, before we begin handing out awards for our academic and co-curricular results, I would like for each and every single one of us to take a look around at how we are at everyone sitting in this room. Take a look at the brothers to your left and to your right. Because here today, we are seated, we are seated and represent us as men. Because here today, we are not split apart into races, ethnicities and religion. We are sitting here today as bushy boys. We are sitting here today as men who have faced adversity and tests and stress from trials in the upcoming HSC and who have succeeded. We have all shared here together. As I look around this room, I see six years of great memories etched in each and every single person's face here at Homebush. But I'd like to recognise right here that this is something special. We here at Homebush have incredible diversity and it is still amazing to think with the amount of difference we have in this room, unique talent and ability, we're all still a band of brothers. This place, this community has made us into what we are today. I know for some of you it's hard to think. It was hard for me to think at the beginning as well. But the more that I thought about it, the more I realised my journey would never have been the same without coming to Homebush. Homebush saw us off at the gate when we were in year seven as scared little boys. And it taught us to leave our peers at the gate. It taught us over six years of education that we deserve to be proud of who we are. That we can do incredible things. That we can step forward and reach for things that we've never dared dream of before because we are capable. We are men. It wasn't the bricks or the mortar or the parched earth of the ovals that did this to us. There can be some credit towards ourselves for carrying each other. But more than that, it was the teachers who came in, who day in and day out cared about us. Despite our attitudes sometimes and believed in us. It is their underlying support of us, their impossible belief that we would somehow make it, somehow triumph and sit in this graduation hall today and help push us to what we have become. <coughs> I also want you to think about the incredible support staff who have printed out literally thousands of pages of photocopies for us, who have sat there going through roll after roll after roll to make sure that we're still at school and that we weren't blowing our chance. I want you to reflect on our deputies who have protected us from bullying and provide us with somewhere to go when things don't go right and we need someone to speak for us. I want you to think about our principals who constantly maintain a welcoming and friendly atmosphere for us, our teachers and our Pushy Boy community as a whole. I would like you to also reflect upon our year advisors, Mr. Majisti and Mr. Kimberling especially, who have guided us through, mentored us and always stood up for us. For me, Ms. Brown and Ms. Camille, the prefect advisors for 2015, are a beautiful example of the community at Homebush. An example of how the teachers look to us and they don't write us off. They don't just treat us as boys, they treat us as men who deserve to be grown and as their own family. I went up to Ms. Brown when the role of Prefect Advisor was declared vacant in term four last year and asked her to take on the role because I knew that she would do an amazing job. Now she had so much stuff going on at the end of 2014, she wasn't able to join us for that first term. But when she saw the position came vacant again, in term one, she and Ms. Camille both stepped up, both accepted us, and said, you know what, we'll give you a chance. It took time away from their children, and it took time away from their families, but they didn't mind. They didn't complain. They kept going. They kept giving. They kept sharing. And they never gave up on us as a prefect body or me as a school captain, making things possible that wouldn't have been imaginable otherwise. These ladies represent what it is here at Homebush that we have so special in our staff. The commitment to each and every single one of us that has been shown day in and day out. Each and every single one of us, when we walk these corridors, we will always, always meet a friendly face. And that is because, our, that is because of the school saying that we will give you a chance. Our victory is evidence of this, a symbol of what Homebush is. Because though the surroundings change around us and as around it, Homebush will never abandon us, never cast us aside. Because we were here. 
We know our roots, our home bush, and we have a place to remember with fondness. And our teachers and our school will still believe in us when we graduate today. When we leave, we'll be moving into separate pathways, undertaking journeys to see us through the rest of our lives. And, to be frank, some of us may never meet again. But still, we can remember and connect with the school that never once gave up, never once kicked us out, and, said, and never once said that we weren't good enough, who gave us a second home when we were growing to become who we are. We were able to share a connection, a brotherhood from our year, and from past years and years yet to come. With Bushy Boys, because this is what Homebush is. This is what Homebush has always done for us. It's always given us a place to connect, to grow. I cannot, think, I cannot thank Homebush enough for what it's done for me. And looking around at all my mates and my Bushy Boy brothers here, I cannot thank the school enough for what it's done for my friends. Leaving the stage right now, I cannot stress how proud I am to be a part of this school and how privileged I feel to have shared my schooling with you. See you lots. Thank you, Greg. Mr. Medisky will now announce the